Hello there. Welcome to Dream City Clinic. I am Dr. Selene. Are you here for the three hour long cranial nerve exams? Yes. This examination will include a compilation of several different cranial nerve exams to help you relax, fall asleep, and check your overall health, okay? Good. And just to double check before we begin, could I get your name? Good. And your birthday? And when was the last time you had a cranial nerve exam? Good. Okay. You are all signed in for a amazing three hour long cranial nerve exams. There'll be one after the other. Enjoy your time here at Dream City Clinic and have a good rest of your night. Cheers. detailed cranial nerve exam ever. Perfect timing. Let's have the nurse send them on in. Good. Okay. And I already have all of my medical tools. Looks like we're ready. Oh. Hello there. Are you the patient waiting for the Extremely detailed cranial nerve exam. Perfect timing. Please welcome. Welcome. Come on in. And step one. Take a seat right at the medical chair that's in front of you. Is that okay? Good. Just relax and take a seat. A couple of introductions before we begin. Welcome to Dream City Sleep Clinic. I am Dr. Cranium. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Is that chair comfortable enough for you? Good, I'm glad. And do you need any blankets or pillows or maybe some tea? Okay. If you do at any moment, let me know and I can let a nurse get informed to come on right in, okay? Good. Today we're here for the most detailed cranial nerve exam that you've ever experienced, correct? Okay. And have you ever had a cranial nerve examination before? Okay, I'll just explain a little bit before we begin. There are 12 cranial nerves. We're going to test all 12 of them today, very detailed, to make sure that you have all of your cranial nerves functioning properly. Okay. And I'm looking at your chart, could I please get your first and last name? Good. Beautiful name. And your date of birth with the year. Okay. And are you allergic to anything that we need to be a known of or informed of before we begin the examination? Okay. Okay. So, now we're going to begin with just basic vitals. One part of the cranial nerve exam is general health and we like to do a premier head-to-toe exam first then move on to the cranial nerves, okay? Good. Now I'm going to get some gloves on. And while I put them on, could you let me know? why you are referred to get a cranial nerve exam to begin with. Okay. Okay. I saw on your chart, it said that you've been having not the best of sleep, and you'd like better sleep. Okay. And it said here, it's going to double check your chart. 
perhaps you've just been having a bit of dysregulation with sleep, making you stressed, tired, etc. I'll be taking very thorough notes. Okay, so we begin first with vitals. I'm going to ask to place this on your little finger, okay? Give me a hand. I'm going to place that right on your finger. And you have beautiful nails, so I'm going to turn that to the side. Okay. And is that comfortable for you? Good. Now I'm just going to take a quick look at you. May I put my hands on your face? Okay. It's going to feel a little cold, I apologize. Did you feel me put my hands on your face? Good. I'm going to be taking a lot of notes and asking a lot of questions. Is that okay with you? Good. I'm going to put my hands right there and I'm going to feel your lymph nodes. Is that okay with you? pain when I touched right there at the lymph nodes? None. Good. Have you been feeling any symptoms of like a cold or some sort of perhaps irritation with your sinuses within the past two weeks? Okay, any sign of fever? Okay, any sign of severe fatigue? Do you know what day it is? Okay. You know generally what time it is. Thank you. These are part of your cranial nerve. Okay, now I'm going to just check, check your heart rate, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to get a little close for this. It's going to be a little cold. Please pardon my sandwich breath. I apologize in advance. Okay. okay. I'm going to place this right at your shoulder blades. I just want you to breathe in and breathe out, okay? Let's begin. Breathe in and breathe out. I'll be listening. next to your abdomen, next to your thorax. Just gonna listen to the sounds of your stomach, okay? Just relax. Okay. And I'm gonna place it on your back now. I'm gonna be listening to your lungs, okay? Just gonna reach over. Again, pardon if it's cold. Okay, just breathe in and breathe out. Once more, breathe in and breathe out deep. Okay, other side. Breathe in and breathe out. Go ahead and a little blow. Breathe in deep and breathe out. Seems that your lungs are working well. I'm gonna write that down. Do you have any types of asthma or allergies going on within the season? Okay, I'm gonna get your temperature now. I'm just gonna take your temperature. You're gonna hear a beep. Okay, just relax. is currently at 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. That's perfect. Perfect. And just to double check, I always do it twice. And in centigrade, that's 23.8. That's perfect. I'm going to write that down. Okay. 
now I'm going to carefully check inside your ears. We'll do a more detailed ear exam afterwards. And I'm gonna look up your nose. That always sounds silly. So, I'm gonna put these in your ears. Do you have any problems with vertigo or maybe some congestion within your ears? I'm gonna take a look. Just relax. ears seem to be working well. We are going to move on to the first part of the cranial nerve exam now after we've taken the vitals. You appear to be very good. And we're going to test every part in every five cranial nerve exams that relate to your eyes. Okay? Orbital, vestibular, all the different types that also connect with the different types of cranial nerves. Are you ready? And do you wear contacts or glasses? Have you had any type of irritation with your eyes within the past two weeks? Okay. Any chance you would get a lot of headaches or migraines from time to time? Thank you. I have a pen light here. I'm gonna shine this in your eyes, okay? We're gonna first keep all the lights on then I'm going to keep all the lights off that are in front of us, okay? Good. So, questions are easy. Just answer when you can. Let me know. Do you see a light shining in your eye right now? Yes or no? Good, yes. Put my hand next to your eye now. And do you see the light shining on your eyes? Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. one side of your eye, okay? Let me know the same. Just covering one side of your eye there. Okay. And do you see the light shining at you, yes or no? Yes. Okay, what about now, yes or no? No, okay. Yes or no? Yes, and yes or no? Perfect, yes. Yes or no? Nope. Yes or no? No. Okay. And then, I'm going to ask you a quick question. Is the light shining on me or on you right now? Me or you? Okay, me. Is the light shining on me or you right now? You. Okay. Good. I'm going to turn the lights off now, and we're going to continue with a more detailed format of this. Then we'll turn the lights back on, okay? Good. So. Just going to carefully test the lights again. A little bit darker this time, okay? Let me know. Do you see the light? Yes or no? Okay. Do you see the light in front of you? Yes or no? Yes. Perfect. And what about now? Yes or no? Okay. You know. Yes or no? Yes. And yes or no? 
No. Okay. No. There's a light shining on me or you. Me or you. Me, very good. Me or you. Me, very good. Me or you. You, very good. Me or you. You, very good. Okay. Just gonna write my results down. Now I'm gonna ask you to follow the light as best as you can, okay? I'm gonna be looking and tracking with your eyes. I'm gonna put my hand next to you as well. Just follow the light with your eyes as best as you can, okay? Good. So just relax and just try as much as you can, okay? And begin to follow the light. Good. Good. Keep following the light. Good. 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 Pull the light. Good. Perfect. Pull the light. Good. You're doing great. Good job. You're doing great. Good. Okay, now that the lights are off, I'm going to ask you, how many times do you see the light flash? I'm going to click the pen light on and off. I want you to count how many times you see the light flash on. Are you ready? Let's begin. Keep count. And three, two, one. And how many times did you see the light flash on? Okay, perfect. Good job counting, you got that correct. Any answer between 8 and 10 we see is correct. Because sometimes when a light clicks on and clicks off, we can double count or we can subtract one. It's very common. Good job. Now we're going to ask you a series of color questions. I have an LED little light here that switches to different colors. You let me know which color you see, okay? And do you have any color partialness I should be aware of? For example, I cannot tell the difference between certain types and certain shades of orange and pink and purple. Okay, good to know. Just try your best. Are you ready? begin. If you can see in front of you, what color do you think the LED light is? Good job. This one is a pink. Good job. Okay, and what color do you think the LED light is now? Good. If you're guessing red, you'd be correct. What color is the LED light now that's in front of you? Good. If you're guessing yellow or orange or even red, you'd be correct. What color is the LED in front of you now? Okay, take a look. Very good. This one's pretty difficult. This one is yellow. Okay, moving on. What 
color is the LED now. Okay, good. This one actually is a white LED light. And at the very end, it is yellow. Okay. What color is the LED light now? Good. This one is a very basic and neutral red. A little bit more difficult to see to the normal eye. And what color is the LED now? Very good, it is blue. You're doing great. Good job, good job, good job. And that will be the last of the LEDs. You're doing good. I'm gonna turn all the lights back on now. You did great. Now, I'm going to turn the normal light back on and I'm going to test your eyes in a different way. Okay? So it looks like your color assessment was good. But now I'm going to put some lenses over your eyes. I want you to tell me what you see. Are you ready? Good. <clears throat> it's only three lenses. And you let me know what you see with these, okay? This is the first one. I'm gonna put that right over your eyes, okay? And let me know what do you see. Good, am I a little bit more in focus? Am I out of focus? Am I zoomed in? Or am I zoomed out? Good, I am a little bit out of focus. Good job. That is perfect. Okay, same question, different lens. Okay, am I in focus? Out of focus? Zoomed in? Zoomed out? What do you see? Okay, it is in focus. Good. Moving on. I'll even give you a little test with this last lens. Tell me what color do you think the lens is? I'm gonna put that right in front of your eye. And what color is your vision now? Very good, this is red. I'm gonna quickly perform the red saturation test with my little pen light. Let me know. When I use my light through this red light pen, is the pen red with the light or is the light white? I'm gonna flash that at you. Is the light red or is it white? Very good, it is red. Okay, a little closer. Is the light red or is the light white? Very good, it is white. Good. Farther away. Is the light red or is the light white? Very good, it is red. Okay, let me know when the color of the light changes from red to white. Keep focus on the light. Keep focus on the light. Let me know when it changes from red to white. Very good. And let me know when the light changes from white to red. Very good. That is known as the red saturation test. Under a red lens, your light and peripheral vision will change depending on how close or how far away an object is. Good job. You're doing great. Okay. And then, we're gonna do one last test, okay? Let me know when my hands move out of your peripheral vision. I'm gonna put my hands here at different distances and I'm going to wiggle them away from your peripheral vision just keep looking at my nose do not look anywhere else and let me know when my hands escape your peripheral vision let's begin good just say when good 
Good. 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 Now let me know when my hands get into your peripheral vision. Again, keep staring at my nose. Very good. 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 the eye exam portion completed. So your peripheral, orbital, ocular, and the vestibular version of your eyes functions very well. We're going to be moving on to my favorite part of the exam. This is known as the olfactory sensory nerve exam. Have you had any problems um, with your nose recently? Perhaps you're not able to smell anything or taste anything correctly? And do you have any sensitivities to smell? Okay. I'm going to show you different versions of essential oils next to me. I'm going to open them and place them under your nose. I'm going to ask that you keep your eyes closed or do not look at the label. But I want you to take a guess what you think the essential oil could be. As an example, could have a lemon essential oil. I will take it and I will carefully put it under your nose and you take a guess what the smell of it is. Perfect? Good. Let's begin. Keep your eyes closed or look on the wall. We're gonna start with the first one here. And this one's generally typically easy. The essential oils will get harder as we continue on. Okay, good. Starting with the first one here and placing that under your nose. Okay. And what do you think this one could be? Okay. A little bit citrusy. Very good. And almost like an orange. Very good. Any guesses? Orange is correct. Good job. That's why this one is typically the easiest. Okay. On to the next one. Are you ready? Good. This one is lovely. Again, they will get progressively more difficult. Now this one is under your nose. Let me know what you think. Okay, very minty. Good, like a mint. Any guesses? Perfect. This one is eucalyptus. You're doing great. This one smells amazing. Your eyes closed or keep distracted and look at the wall. Ah, oh, this one smells amazing. Okay. This one's under your nose now. Okay. And what do you think this one could be? Okay. A little bit like plants. Like flowers. Good. This one is very good. This one is lavender. Reminds you of a spa, doesn't it? So nice. I find this one to be one of the most pleasant. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now 
This one is wonderful. Yeah, this one's pretty good. Okay. What does this one smell like to you? Take a guess. Very good. This one is... Yes, super similar to the outdoors. To a fireplace. What do you think that could be? Perfect, some sort of tree or bark. That is exactly it. This one is sandalwood. In my opinion, it smells like marshmallows. But it absolutely smells like an oak or a wood. It's lovely. Good job. Let's move on. Again, this one's good. Also, it appears right here when I take a look at your information. It appears that your heart rate is decreasing, meaning that you are finding this to be relaxing, which is exactly what we were looking for. Good. So we have this one right here, and this one is one of my favorites. Keep your eyes closed. We're just going to place that right next to your nose, okay? Good. And what do you think that is? Marvelous oral. And it reminds you of an herbal tea. Maybe a sleepy time tea. Good. Any guess? Floral flower. Perfect. This one is chamomile. You were supposed to get that it smells like a flower, earthy, and just what we would have accepted the several answers here, which are notes of marshmallow and notes of vanilla. Good job. And now we have one last one. And this one is fantastic. I adore this one. Lovely. Okay, this is the most difficult. Most people do not get this one correct, and that is okay. It's just a test to see if your sense of smell is able to pick up on some of the notes, okay? And what are you getting? Yes, earthy, citrus, and a little bit of medicinal. Perfect. And you guessed what that could be. Yeah, okay, not really. Perfect. You can open your eyes now. This one is tea tree, and it smells like a citrus herbal type of plant. It is commonly used as a topical ointment for your face and scalp, typically used for dermatitis, some sort of dandruff and acne. It is very used, much used medicinally for face skin, hair, and follicle irritation. Good job, you did amazing. And we're going to move on now to your sense of taste. We just tested your sense of smell. And I have two bottles, I'll show you them. Okay. And these little bottles have two different tastes. There are three that you're going to be able to pick from. We have sour, sweet, and salty. In each of these bottles is a different flavor profile. You guess from each one if it is sour, sweet, or salty. Are you ready? Let's begin. We're going to start off with this one here. Say ah, uh, very good. Just drop a little bit. Okay. 
and then go good <laughs> you got that right away is it sour sweet or salty good that one is sour very good i saw your face make a I'm gonna move on to this one now. salty. Good. That one is super sweet. Perfect. Okay. You're doing great. Good job. <laughs> now we're going to give you a refresher. And what I'm going to do next is we're going to be testing your vestibular and your ocular nerve version of your body, which is balance and your sense of hearing. Okay. Do you have any signs of vertigo? Okay. Do you get vertigo at all? Okay. And do you sometimes feel off balanced? Okay. I'm going to put my hands behind your ears. I want you to let me know what you hear, what you feel, etc. Okay. Good. So, is that okay if I put my hands right here? Carefully, just put my hands to your ears like this. Okay. And bring the pressure. And released. Are you feeling any sense of unease and unbalance? No? That's exactly what we want to hear. Very good. Now, I'm going to ask you to keep your eyes closed and let me know if you hear a sound coming from your left or your right side, okay? Good. Let's begin. Keep your eyes closed. Left or right side? Good. That's coming from your left. Very good. Left or right side? Good, that's coming from your right. Left or right side? Left? Left or right side? Right. Good job. I'm going to twist and turn your neck a little bit, okay? I want you to let me know how you feel. First, gonna just tilt it at an angle. Okay? Relax. Okay? Are you feeling okay? Good? I'm gonna whisper something in one of your ears. Let me know what I say, okay? And what did I whisper in your ear? Welcome. Very good. Let me know, can you still see me? Good. I'm gonna quickly use my pen light here. Follow the pen light. Good. Are you feeling dizzy at all or feeling any chance of vertigo? No? Okay. I'm going to twist your neck the opposite direction. Okay, relax. Okay. And are you still able to see me? How do you feel? Okay. And I'm going to whisper something into your ear again. You repeat and let me know what I said, okay?
And what did I say? Very good. Repeat after me. I said blanket. Very good. You're doing amazing. Thank you for allowing me to just continue with this, okay? We're detailed for a reason. Now I'm gonna do the same as the other eye. I want you just to follow the light with your eye, okay? Good. Full of light. Good. Full of the light. Good. Full of the light. Good. And do you feel any sign of vertigo or some sort of imbalance or fatigue? No. Okay. I'm gonna put you back where you were before. Okay. And can you look at me? Good. Can you look at the wall over here? Okay. Can you look at the wall over here? Okay. Can you look at me again? Good. Do you see my hands focusing in front of you? Good. And do you see my hand behind me? Good. Okay. How many fingers am I holding up out of five? Five. Very good. What about now? Two. Very good. What about now? One. What about now? Three. What about now? Two. And what about now? Three. Good. Any signs of imbalance or vertigo so far? Okay, none of that. And how are you feeling? Just a little bit tired. Okay, we are going to test your brain function now. I'm going to ask you to do some musculature tests and we're going to test your brain, okay? So, I'm going to ask you to play this game with me. It's called Repeat After Me going to raise certain parts of my face and my arms and my shoulders. I want you to repeat. Okay? So, lift your eyebrows as if you were excited. Okay? I'm going to put some pressure on that. I want you to try your best to keep your eyebrows up or the muscle intention that I tell you to when I touch your face. Okay? So, eyebrows up. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Relax your eyebrows now. Let's do your eyes next. I want you to try to close your eyes as tight as possible. Do not let me open them. Okay. And close your eyes. Keep going. Keep going. Don't let me open them. Good. And relax. Look at me normally now. Okay. Look all the way up here. Good. Relax. Look at me. Look all the way down here. Relax, look at me. Look over here. Look over here. Look back at the center. Good. Now, can you give me a very comical smile? Thank you. Good. A little bit of pressure. Perfect. Now, relax, okay? And give me a frown. Good. Perfect. Relax your face. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you to raise your shoulders like so. Okay? Just raise your shoulders. I'm going to put pressure on your shoulders. I want you to resist from me pushing down. Okay? Raise your shoulders and resist. 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 Okay, relax. Good. Now, I'm gonna ask you to put your hand on my hand and I want you to try to resist me pushing forward, okay? Put your hand on my hand and resist. Resist. Good. Other side, put your other hand on my hand. Okay, pressure and resist. 
resist, resist, good job. Now, I want you to shake my hand, but squeeze my hand as tight as possible. It won't hurt me, okay? Good. So, hold my hand, good, perfect, good. Other hand up, good, perfect, good. Good job. I'm going to cover one of your eyes and I'm going to ask you to follow my hand with one eye. Okay, covering one eye. Follow my hand movement. Just follow my hand movement. Good. Good. Perfect. Eyes are focusing. Good. Covering the other eye now. Just follow my hand movement. Follow my hand movement. Good. Perfect. Okay. I see no signs of one eye overworking or stress. Muscles are working perfect. Good. Good job. I'm just going to carefully test some musculature. I'm going to tap on your forehead, your nose, your chin, and your shoulders, and your knees. And we're going to see if your reflexes are working, okay? Good. So just relax. Good. Good. Forehead good. Nose. Good. Good. Chin. Good. Good. And try not to kick me, though it is okay if that happens, okay? Okay, relax and bend the knee. Good. Good. Other side. Good. You know, give me your arms. I'm gonna put a bit of pressure right there on your wrist. Good. Once more. Perfect reflex. Other side. Good. Perfect reflex. Now I'm gonna test your ankle. Again, try not to kick me, okay? Test your foot. Perfect. Good. Perfect. Good. Okay. Reflexes are working well. And now begins a series of different types of questions. We're going to be testing your brain and reactivity to your other parts of your musculature, okay? So, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Just answer to the best of your ability. You got that? Okay. If I were to say two birds with one stone, what does this phrase mean to you? Okay, that means you could accomplish two things by doing one task. Good. Okay. Okay. If I were to tell you, look over yonder, what does that mean? Okay. That means look over there, or in some cases, look over here. Good. If I were to say, leave no rock unturned, what does that mean? Okay, that means to look for anything that could possibly be missing, or to consistently check through every single piece of information. Good. Okay, what is a fortnight? Okay, perfect. It is either two, two, in some cases four nights after the same previous night that we were currently on. Returning in a fortnight. Good. Okay. And one more time. Do you know what date it is today? What year is it? Do you have a job or do you go to school? What's going on? series of brain questions continue. I want you to let me know what is on the card. I have several sets of cards in front of me. I want you to identify as quick as possible what is on the card. Okay. I'm going to show you five different cards. 
gonna need you to answer as, as quick as you can. Okay, good. So, let's begin what's on the card. Perfect, that is a dog. What is on the card? Good, that is a cake. What is on the card? Good, that is a tree. What's on the card? That is a bus. Very good. Okay, and what is on the card? That is an apple. Good job. On to the last set. Sensory. Okay. I'm gonna ask you, is this warm or is this cool? I have a automizer and what this does is it will apply a little bit of moisture to the skin. I want you to let me know if it is warm or cool. Are you ready? Let's begin. Is this warm or is that cool? Okay, good. Just relax. Is this warm or is that cool? Good, that is warm. Very good. And last but not least, before I give you a moment to hold your thoughts while I type some information, okay? I'm going to ask you if something is soft or sharp. This is what soft feels like. And this is what sharp feels like. You let me know if it is soft or sharp. Okay? Good. Let's begin. Close your eyes. I'm going to place this on your cheeks. Soft or sharp. sharp. Good. Sharp. Softer sharp. Soft and softer sharp. details down now. I'm going to leave you in the room just for a little bit while I set a little bit of information in. We're going to be collecting data on how you relax sans doctor in the room and we're going to be filling out and completing the information on your detailed cranial nerve exam. This is known as the rest and recovery part of it and I'll just be typing alongside. You might hear that but going to be turning all the rest of the lights off so that you can fully relax, okay? Good. So I'm just going to move my stuff and I will be right back, but we're going to let you rest, okay? Just put that over there, okay?
information. Rest and recovery was complete, but we'll give you all the rest of the information as soon as we possibly can. And we're going to be filling out this info and sending it to you by tomorrow, fully detailed, okay? Good. Thank you for being here today. And we'll put you in the rest and full recovery room after now so you can sleep and we'll monitor your heart rate, etc. Got it? Good. We'll see you tomorrow morning. And thanks for being here for such a detailed exam and being such a good patient. Good. If you need help, at the button next to you. You know how to do this. Okay. Cheers, darling. Thanks for being here today. Um, hello there. Welcome into the examination room here in Dream City Clinic. I am Dr. Luna. I am the neurologist here at the clinic. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. I was just reading your reports that you are going to need a very detailed cranial nerve examination today. Is that correct? Exactly. Perfect. I hope you get cozy and sit right down, right at the exam chair that's right in front of me, okay? Good. I know I am not your general physician, but you can trust in me, okay? Good. So, can you let me know if a nurse has seen you prior or if you were just sent in to my office today? You were just sent in? sitting down. A couple of questions about your health. I was looking at your report and it does say that you may have bumped your head and hurt a bit of your vision. Is that correct? Okay. I'm just going to put my hands a little close to you. Is that okay? I won't touch you. Going to care. Just taking a look at how your eyes are focusing. Okay. Okay. Gonna get just a bit close just to see how your eyes are focusing. Okay. And where exactly were you hurt? Was it the left or the right side? It's right up here. Okay. May I touch your face? Okay. Gonna put just a little bit of pressure right there. And any pain or discomfort? A little? Okay. And do you remember how this happened? Did you hit your head on something? Did you slip in the shower? Those are very common things. You fell off your bed? Mm hmm. And you may have hit your head. Yeah, on the nightstand. Do you remember what you were doing? Did you eat that day? Okay. This is something that happens really common. questions here. Can you please say and spell out your name for me so I can check that off in my account? Okay, and how do you spell that? Is that with an I, an E? It's a beautiful name. Okay. And what about your last name? Perfect. And what 
is your address Okay, and is your pharmacy the same as last time or has it changed? I'm gonna get some gloves on and I'm gonna do a more thorough exam, okay? And have you ever had a cranial nerve examination before? Kind of a long name, I know. But it's really necessary, especially if you hit your head. I've had quite a few happen in my life. Done a lot of sports growing up and I have had some pretty serious concussions where I felt not so good, so. Have you ever had a concussion before or a head injury? Okay. Okay. And would you mind if I got a little bit close to you? Thank you. I'm just gonna put a bit of pressure on your wound right on your forehead and a little pressure around your eyes because we're going to begin the exam now. We're going to begin the orbital eye exam, okay? So first, I'm just going to take a look at that wound, okay? Apologies for getting so close, but I'm just going to examine a little bit. Is it okay if I touch your eyes and your face? Thank you. Just gonna be putting a bit of pressure like so, and then here we go. Pressure and release. Pressure, release. Pressure, release. diffused behind my hand or does it all look the same? Okay, good. I get a bit closer now and let me know again. And is it a bit diffused or blurry behind me? Perfect. That's what I'm expecting. It's a very good sign. So, I'm going to put a bit more pressure on your orbitals, but I'm going to ask you this time. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. Just close, close, close your eyes. Okay, I'm just going to put a bit of pressure right there. Release, keep your eyes closed. Pressure, release, pressure and release. Good. Are you feeling any signs of vertigo, imbalance, a headache, pressure on the head? No, that's good. So, we call these the preliminary exams make sure that a concussion is not going to be something that hinders us from checking your other cranial nerves and your health, okay? Okay. I'm gonna take your vitals next, including your temperature and your heartbeat, okay? So, what I found was good so far. Take your temperature now, and this goes right into your mouth, and I'm just going to count from 20 to get your temperature. I'm going to put this in your mouth under your tongue, okay? If it bothers you, let me know. So I'm just going to put this right under your tongue, okay? And let's count backwards from 20. 20, 
Let's take a quick look here. This is showing just a little bit of a fever once the results have read. Have you had a cold or a fever in the past two weeks to a month? Okay. And do you know if you may currently be sick or have a flu? Sometimes you can faint or pass out, get a bit dizzy if you're sick. No clue. Any symptoms of a sore throat, swollen lymph nodes, heart rate increase, temperature decrease. So, I'm gonna write that down. Next, I'm just gonna get your heart rate. I'm gonna use my stethoscope. It can be a little bit cold. I'm gonna ask you just to breathe, okay? So I'm just going to This is the part I put right onto your skin to check your heart rate and it allows me to hear inside your chest I have to put this on your chest Thank you So, I'm gonna put that right along the side there Breathe in and breathe out side. Is that a bit cold? Just let me know. I'm going to put that right there. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Okay. Right in the center. See? Relax. this on your back now. I'm gonna ask you just to breathe in and breathe out for me. I'm gonna be listening to your lungs, okay? So I'm just going to ask you to breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out. Other side. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Very good. I didn't notice anything with your heartbeat that I should be alarmed about. It was just a little bit faster than usual. Uh, typical beats per minute is around 70 through 90 resting. Yours was a bit more than that. Are you a bit nervous to be at the doctor's office? Yeah, that's okay. I want you to know that you're safe here and your health really matters, okay? Okay. I'm gonna write that down. Now, what we're going to do for the cranial nerve exam is a series of eye exams and brain tests, okay? This will include lights in your eyes, a test with the Snellen's chart here, okay? 
and a couple of card tests that are going to make sure that your brain and your eyes are working properly, okay? Good. I'm gonna first grab my pen light. We're gonna do a series of eye exams, okay? pen light here. I'm just going to ask you to sit still. Okay. Got this pen light here and it's going to be a little bright. You can focus on my nose or the little snow and start behind me. That would be perfect. I'm just going to shine it right into your eyes. And I'm going to do it up close. And up close. And did that bother you at all? Just gonna take a look up close. Good. Let's do it again. Just going to drop the visual field. And up. And from the side. To the side. And from a side, side. And did that hurt your eyes at all or make you feel a bit sensitive? Sometimes if you just get a bit up close to the eye, you can sometimes react by overstimulating and bothering your eye, especially after a concussion or some sort of head injury. That's because our brain is overworking with our eyes to distract How have your stress levels been? And your mental health? Okay. Stress can push us over the edge from time to time, but I want you to know it's going to be okay. Okay. Good. I'm going to ask you now to follow the light with your eyes, but don't move your head or your neck. I'll give you an example of what not to do. If my finger were the light, do not move your head or your neck or your shoulders. I want you with just your eyes to follow the light, like so, okay? Just use your eyes. I'm gonna hold on to your face just a little bit here. Okay, then I'm gonna shine the light. Follow the light, please. Thank you. Good. Very good. Follow the light, please. Just go up and down now. Okay. Please do not move your shoulders or your neck or your head. Just move your eyes. Thank you. Okay. Now to follow my instructions, okay? I ask you to close your eyes and open them. Close your eyes and open them. Close your eyes, open them. Close your eyes, open them. Close, open, close, open, close, open. Good. Follow my finger. Just your eyes. Good. Follow my finger with just your eyes. Good. Good. And then up. Okay. And then down. Are you able to see this far with your peripheral vision? A little bit? Okay. I'm gonna now cover one eye. I'm gonna shine the light into the other one, okay? So first I'm just gonna cover one side of your eye here. I'm going to shine the light right into it. Good. Shining it into the one eye. And relax. Back again. 
relax back again and relax okay onto the other eye here okay shining the light and relax shine the light and relax and again and relax okay could you look at me for a second look at my eyes please okay look at my nose look at my eyes look at my nose currently looking at the top of your eye here now i'm looking below your eye are you able to see that now i'm looking above your eye and then i'm looking below your eye okay now i'm looking to the side of your eye and i'm looking to the other side of your eye okay very good good and a bit far away perfect now what we're going to do is i'm actually going to test you using the Snellens chart here that's behind me, okay? And from where you are now, I'm going to put my hand just about a foot away from you. And I'm going to ask you, what's the farthest behind on the Snellens chart that you can see? Line two, line three, yeah. So, E being one, can you read line two? FP, perfect, and can you read line three? T, O, Z, perfect. Going to take the focus away from the front now. I'm going to ask you, now that we're looking farther away, what is the farthest? down on the list that you can read from right there up to 7 or 8 okay can you read line 7 for me? what does that say? let me get a pointer what does that say? F okay E what's next? L okay O perfect P. Mm hmm. Z. Good. And then, what's the last letter? D. Okay. Let's move down to 8. Okay. What do you see? Can you read the line for me? Good. D. Perfect. E. Good. F. P. Good. O. What's next? T, E, and C. Good. I'm going to point to the line and can you tell me what color you see? What color is that? What color is this? It is green. Good. I'm going to move down to here. And what color is this? Red. Good. Do you have any color deficiencies or any blindness in your family or do you see any colors differently since you had your injury okay okay and what we're going to do next is test your peripheral vision i'm going to just put my hand in the center here and i want you to let me know when it is out of your peripheral vision so i'll give you an example this is in your peripheral vision you can just look at me. You want to look anywhere else but me. And you let me know when you are unable to see my hand, okay? Let's begin. Good. 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 Very good. Good. Now two at the same time. Good. Good. with my hands. 
I want you to let me know which hand is closer to you by raising the hand that's corresponding to which is closer. So I'll give you an example. Right now, this hand, my hand right here is closer to you, so I would raise this hand. Let's begin. Which hand is closer to you? Good. Good. Very good. 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 They're kind of equal. Good. Equal again. Good. Equal again. Good. Perfect. Good. Perfect. I'm just going to carefully take a look right there with your eyes. I'm going to get a bit up close again and shine the light deeper to your eyes. So I'm just going to sit a bit up close. I'm going to pull down one of your eyes here. I'm going to take a quick shine and a quick look. Okay. I'm just going to take a look there. Okay. Good. And the other eye. a bit up close, I do see that your eyes are fluttering, aka they're overworking when you have to focus up close. And when we are farther away, your eyes have a relaxed, a relaxed sensation to let your eyes sit back and soothe, and that's because your eyes are working less. Now, I'm going to quickly use a little bit of a lens kit here. I want you to let me know what you see. I have a couple of tester lenses, and this is just to assess your orbitals, okay? We're going to begin with this one first. I'm just going to place it right over your eyes, okay? You let me know what you see. In three, two, one. And what do you see? Okay. Nothing. Perfect. So, this is known as a blackout lens. It is made by a very thick acrylic, which makes you unable to see through it. Okay, okay I have another lens here. And I'm going to place it right in front of your visual field in 3, 2, 1. And you let me know what you see. You see everything in red. Very good. Any differences? Good. I'm going to use very strong lens on you now. Okay, you let me know what you see. In three, two, one. What do you see? Okay, a very blurred image. Okay, and good. Now, did any of those make you feel uneasy? A sense of imbalance? or make you feel a bit like you have a headache. No, that's good. We test lenses from time to time to make sure that everything is going good with your eyes, okay? So, I'm just gonna write that down. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the olfactory sensory nerve test. Then we're gonna work with your ears what this is. It's the funnest part of the exam. And we're going to test your nose and your taste, okay? So, I'm going to give you a smell and a taste test. I'm not going to tell you what these smells are. I have a ton of essential oils right next to me. And it is up to you to guess what these smell and or taste is, okay? We're going to start off with smells and go to taste. I'm going to start off right here with this one. So, I'm just going to put this in front of your nose. Wait to let me know what you smell. It smells a bit like minty, earthy, 
and a bit like a spa. Any guess what this is? Mint. Perfect. It is actually peppermint. You're able to see that. I do have a peppermint bottle of oil. This one helps with headaches. Very good. Gonna move on to this one. Now this one is very nice. I'm gonna put that right in front of your nose. And let me know what do you smell. Okay. Good. Okay. And what is that? Fruity. Good. And a bit like juice. Good. And very good. This one is a citrus base. It's orange. I'm going to show you up close. This one's orange. So, got a bit of orange there. This one's nice. So far, so good. There are also no correct answers. It's just how close you are to the original smell. So, going to pick one right here. Okay. And, gonna put this right in front of your nose. What do you smell with this one? A bit calming. A bit like flowers. Very good. Soothing like a spa. Any guess? Good. You were close. This one is lavender. And lavender is probably one of my favorite smells of all time. This one is English lavender. It has a bit of a citrus note in it. It's very good. Now this one's a bit difficult. So, I'm going to smell that first. That's perfect. And this one's a bit difficult, so just remember to take a guess out as close as you can get to it. What is this one? Good. Very good. This one is earthy, like wood. And a bit like perfume. Perfect. So I would agree as well. This one is sandalwood. Now sandalwood has a very strong earthy wood sense, kind of like a burning fire or a fireplace. It's quite nice. I'm going to pick up this one now. We have one more smell before we do the taste test. Now this one is a bit more difficult. They get a bit more difficult as we go along. Oh, but this one's nice. Okay. So, I'm gonna ask you, what is this that you smell right here? Okay. Floral, good. Earthy, okay. And a bit like lotion. Okay, any idea? Too difficult? Yeah, this one's a bit hard. This one's jasmine, but you got the floral note, which is sweet. And that's perfect. Now, jasmine smells almost exactly like lotion. Or like a perfume that perhaps grandparents wear. Because jasmine's very common. And perfumes. Okay. And we've got one more left for the smell. And we're going to move on to the taste test. Okay. Now this one's very strong. You might get it right away. Or you might not. Any idea what this one is? Okay. Floral right off of the bat. That's perfect. A bit like tea. Good. Any guess? Okay. 
this one, this last one, is chamomile. Chamomile is a very strong scent, but they typically make it for teas or soothing bath mixes. Very good. It looks like your nose is working fine. So far, the only thing that I think was a problem was the pressure where your injury was. Right here, just on your forehead. And that your eyes are overworking and a bit overstimulated when we get close to them. Okay. So, good that you have your sense of smell. Gonna work now with your sense of taste. So. Okay. I have two bottles of oils here. But it can be one of three things. We either have something that is sour, something that is very sweet, or something that is bitter, okay? And you just have to identify which one is which. There's only two bottles, it can only be one or the other, and there will be one that will not be tested, okay? So I'm gonna get my little Q-tip, okay? And we're going to test this first one here. And again, it can either be sour, sweet, or bitter. So, just going to shake that up. And all of these have a very neutral taste. They remind me of uh, vitamins. Just going to add a bit onto the Q-tip like that. I'm gonna ask you if you could open your mouth so I can put this on your tongue, okay? Three, two, one. Just going to add a bit to the tongue. Good. And what is that? Is it sour, sweet, or bitter? <laughs> That's bitter. Very good. Now let's move on to the next one. Now that we've already used bitter, it can either be sour sweet. So I'm just going to get a bit of that and apply it onto the cotton round like so. Okay. And I'm going to quickly ask you to open your mouth again. Put this right on your tongue. And open. Cut. And let me know. Is that sour? Or is that sweet? Very sour. Good. I see your face puckering up. That's perfect. Good. Okay. Now we're going to test your ears. First, I'm going to just take a look inside each of your ear, okay? So, first, I'm going to take a peek with something known as an autoscope. Now, this little tool here is something that we like to use to check out the ears, okay? So, I'm just going to take a look inside one of your ears, okay? Sit back and relax. Okay, very are you able to hear that? Good. Okay. Any pain in this ear? No. Good. Okay. And I'm going to look in the other ear now. So, I 
saw no infection in either ear, which is good. And I'm gonna quickly ask you a couple of questions about your health. Do you have any problems with deafness in one ear? the inability to hear certain sounds. Okay. okay. First, going to cup your ears, and then I'm going to give you a hearing test with a beep test. Then I'm going to use a tuning fork. Okay. So first, I'm going to cup your ears a little bit, and I'm going to see if I can manipulate your ears to have you feel a certain way. If it causes you to have vertigo, this can help us get information on how your health is. Okay. So I'm first going to just put my hands right on your ears, okay? I'm going to ask you if you'd like to close your eyes, you can. And if not, you can just relax, okay? Okay. So first, I'm just going to cup your ears. signs of vertigo or uneasiness from that. Okay, you're feeling okay? Any signs of pain or pressure when I did put pressure right behind the back of your ear? I'm gonna take a quick look behind your ear, okay? And the other side. Okay. Now I'm gonna perform something known as a beep exam. Where I'm gonna have a machine beep in either your left or your right ear. And you let me know if it's coming from your left or your right by raising the accordion hand, okay? So, lift up the hand that you're able to identify which side it comes from, okay? So, keeping your eyes closed, closed, closed. I'm gonna just test your ears now. Okay, let's begin. like your ears had a lot of accuracy for that. 
you can open, open, open your eyes again. Very good. Good job. Now I'm going to do a tuning fork exam. And I want you to let me know if you're able to hear the sound of the tuning fork. Okay, so I'm just going to test it on myself. Good. First, to make sure that it's the same. You can relax now. I'm not going to ask you if it's your left or right side and keep your eyes open. I'm going to just test this on you, okay? And you let me know, can you hear it? And could you hear that? Once more. And could you hear that? Okay, other side. And could you hear that? Good. And then could you hear that? Good. Now we're going to place it on your forehead and you let me know if you hear that. Can you hear it? Okay, once more. And can you hear that? Okay. It's a bit difficult, but very slightly. Okay. So, now what we're going to do is a bit of a muscular exam. And then we're going to do a test on your brain with a couple of shapes and colors, okay? So, I'm going to ask you to just follow me. It's like a mimic me. Can you raise your eyebrows up super tall? If you are excited, okay. get a bit up close here. Can I put my fingers right there? Okay. I'm gonna ask you to just keep your eyebrows raised. Okay. Just keep your eyebrows raised. Just right there. Keep your eyebrows raised. Good. Good. And relax them. Good. Now, if you could furrow your brow like so. Close your eyes as tight as possible and do not allow me to open them, okay? So I'm just going to try to pinch, 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 and pluck, 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 pluck. Okay, then have your eyes relax. Very good. Now, if you could give me a very cheesy smile. Very big, and your mouth open on this one, okay? I'm just gonna pinch just the sides of your mouth. Okay. 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 Perfect. Good. Good. You can relax your smile now. If you can give me a very funny a frown, that'd be good. Give me a very cheesy frown. Good. I'm gonna just pull right on the sides of your mouth really quick, okay? Good. Okay, and relax your face. Okay. Here's the fun part. I'm gonna ask you now to follow my hands and mimic me. Can you raise one hand above your shoulder like this? Good. On the other. Good. Now, can you touch your nose to your hand? Okay, and follow. Push your hand forward, touch your nose to your hand. Good, here, follow, put your nose to your hand, and put your nose to your hand, like that, good. Now take your arm and cross it over your shoulder, good, and take the other arm, cross it over the other shoulder, good, now relax. Now put both your arms on your shoulders, good, and relax, and lift one arm up, and if you can, with this arm, squeeze your palm like that your fingers clenched. Good. And the other arm. 
and squeeze your palm with your fingers clenched. Okay? Now, I'm gonna ask you just to let me know. Let me know when my hand gets too close to your eyes. Let's begin. Here we go. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm gonna ask you to raise your shoulders as tall as possible, okay? And I'm gonna try to push them down, but I want you to resist me, okay? Here we go. Raise your shoulders and resist. 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 Good, and relax. Very good. Now I'm gonna ask you to take one arm, lift it up like so, and put your hand here and try to squeeze your hand. Any pain? No. Nope. Undo the other arm and squeeze. Any pain? No. Nope. And we're moving on to our last sensory test before the brain tests. I'm gonna do a test on you called soft or sharp. I'm gonna ask you to once again close, 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 close your eyes. Okay. And I'm either gonna put something on you that's sharp. I have a very soft cotton around here. Or I have my tweezers here that are a bit sharp. And you let me know if it's soft or sharp. Let's begin. Right there. Okay, soft. And what about here? Sharp. And here. Soft. And here. Sharp on your nose now. Soft on your nose. Sharp on your forehead. Soft and on your forehead. Sharp on your chin. Good, and here we go again. Chin. And now a bit close to where you got your injury. And what is that? Okay, and what's this? Sharp. Very good. Okay. We're done with the physical part of the exam. Very good. Now we're going to go on a bit of the last part, which is the mental part of the exam. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. And I have a couple of cards here that we're going to test you with. Okay. And they're supposed to be quite easy. They are flashcards. And I'm going to ask you to identify a couple of things, okay? So, first I'm going to ask you, what day is it today? What's day today? Okay. And what was the weather like today? And if I were to ask you what time is it, do you know what time it is, generally? Okay. And what's something major that happened in the news recently? Okay. Now, if I were to say two birds with one stone, what does that mean? Okay. It means you can do two things for the price of one. Good. If I were to say, a broken clock is right twice a day, what does that mean? Okay, that means even if something is typically wrong, it can be right. Good. If I were to say, birds of a feather flock together, what does that mean? Okay, that means people with similar attributes typically follow one another. Good. Now, I'm going to ask you a couple of things. I'm going to show you a card here, and you let me know what you see. Tell me what the object is. I'm going to start off with this right here. This is the card, and this is the object. Are you able to identify what that object is? Good. 
Okay, that is a jar. Very good. You're doing good so far. I'm gonna move on to another. I'm going to pull up this image and here we go. Here's with this one. We've got something quite delicious here. And we have it in a container. Do you know what this is? If I were to show you this object, this is ice cream. Very good. Let's do another. Okay. If I were to show you this, this lovely image right here, what do you think that is? Okay. And that is a flower. Very good. Okay. And if I were to show you this, would you be able to identify what that is? This is a fruit. This is a banana. Very good. Almost done here. I'm going to show you this one here. And if I were to show you this, what would you identify this as? Another fruit. Circular. This is an orange. Good. And one more. Okay. If I were to show you this image of this circular object, what would you say that this is? Good. This is a cup. Perfect. So, looks like the psychological exam was good. Thank you. And with that, we have completed all 12 of your cranial nerves. The only thing that appeared to be a problem was your eyes, but that's typically because of trauma. Okay. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to put you on watch for the rest of the night. And... We're just going to make sure that your health is okay. Sound good with you? Perfect. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today to do your exam. I really appreciate your patience with us. And I'm going to just check on you again in the morning with a couple of cranial nerve exams. We're going to make sure that you are on watch so your health is good and you can recover well, okay? Perfect. I'm going to go get just a little bit of bed prepared for you where you have access to television, a phone charger, blankets and pillows, okay? And there will be a nurse watch for you and in the morning I'll re-examine you, okay? Thank you so much for coming on by. Remember your health is a priority and I hope you have a good night and we're going to just get that ready for you in a little bit, okay? Good, thank you.
basic sensory programming of your brain, face, head, etc. Yes. And what happened to you? Ah, oh, yes. You were watching something on Netflix. Yes. And you fell asleep and rolled right off. Yes, did you bump your head at all? Yes, okay.
pupils are reacting to the light. Normal pupils look at about a five millimeter. When we apply light, they should be getting a little bit smaller. How's your pupils react to your eyes? Do you have any eye light sensitivities? Okay, I will make sure that this is as soothing as possible. If you could for me, could you stare at the E on my little eye chart? Good, look at the E, don't look at the light.
let me know the moment that you see the light between my hands, okay? Good. So just look directly at my hand, okay? Keep all your focus on it. And let me know when you see the light. Perfect. Once more.
Just a slight bit 
you know, if the light is closer or farther away to you now. Closer or farther. Good. Closer or farther. Good. Closer or farther. Good. Closer or farther. Good. Closest or farthest away. About the same. Good. Now, can you look back here at the circle I'm making? Just a bit closer to you now. Do you still see the light shining? Good. Okay. Do you see the light farthest away from you now? Good. And if I get just a bit closer, do you see the light moving in front of your face? Good. So, can you see my finger here? Do you see my hand closest to you or farther away? Closer. What about now? Closer or farther? Good father. Closer or farther? Good father. Closer or farther? Good. Closer. Very good. Now, can you look over here for me? Good. Can you look over here for me? Good. Can you look to the center? Good. And is the light at the center left or right? Is the light at the left, center, or right? Good. Is the light at right, center, or left? Good. And again, is it at? Is the light in the center, left, or right? Good. Is the light left, center, or right? Good. And is the light at right, center, or left? Good. Now, when I shine the light at my face, can you see more details or less details? Very good. When I shine the light at my hand, can you see more details or less details? Good. More. And when I shine the light right at the Snellen's chart, do you feel like you can read the chart better? Yes or no? Yes. Very good. And that is the lights off portion of the exam. Very good. And I'm going to put that down now. And what we're going to do next going to give you something known as the olfactory sensory nerve exam. What this is, I have a series of essential oils and all you have to do is take a guess as to which ones I am using for you, okay? Okay, I'm going to turn the lights back on now, okay? Okay, just relax. I'm going to carefully just apply and turn one of the lights on. Okay, that is one.
something quite commonly used in teas to help one sleep and calm down. Chamomile is also used quite often as a remedy for any sort of headache. Yes, it's quite nice. Yes. Okay. 
it means if you can do something that would fix two things, you should do it. Perfect. Very good. Okay. And I have one more for you now. Okay. If I say that is a four-leaf clover, what is the meaning of that? Yes, so typically a four-leaf clover is good luck. Very good. So your brain is working functionally and properly to assess sentences and ideas perfectly too, along with musculature and along with all sensory, which is working fine. What we're going to do now is I'm going to send you this assessment through email. You can access it as soon as possible. But we're going to let you rest here in the morning. We will repeat these exams with just a nurse present, okay? Good. I think your cranial nerves are functioning amazingly, which is fantastic good news. Yes, it is. Thank you for staying here for such a detailed cranial nerve exam with me, Dr. Brain. I really appreciate it. And we will have you rest and relax here. And a nurse will come by shortly with some pillows and blankets to help you rest and relax, okay? Great, it was good to see you, and I was so happy to take care of you today. Yes, thank you for being with us here at the clinic, at Dream City Clinic. Yes, indeed. And have yourself a great rest of your evening. We will check up with you in the morning, and I'll see you then too. It looks like you are back after our three hour long cranial nerve exams. Did you enjoy your time here? Okay. Are you fast asleep currently? Or did you fall asleep during this at all? Under which one did you fall asleep the fastest or the best? Very good. And last but not least, if you would like to repeat with another visit, we always recommend you revisit this entire process of this clinic visit today. Put it on a loop for three hours or more. I recommend nine. And enjoy yourself and have an amazing rest of your time. And have a good night, okay? Thank you for coming to Dream City Clinic. Again, I've been Dr. Celine. Have a good rest of your night. Sleep well.